Ever wondered what it feels like to grow up in a spotlight with cameras shoved in your faces 24-7? Well, this is the life that young Jaden Smith lived. He admitted in an interview that his dad would constantly shoot a video of him around the house, hoping that he would turn into the next big star. My dad would just film me and my sister. Oh. <laughs> and we would make trade tricks. Matrix spin-off. Right. You know Some would even say that his parents were willing to do anything to make it happen. And where did it lead him to being mocked, criticized, and hated? This makes us question whether his parents were setting him up for success or failure. Was he even considered the child or just another money-making franchise for his parents? For the longest time, the world believed that Will and Jada had a perfect relationship. However, now that their deepest, darkest secrets have been revealed on air, we all know that it was all a lie. Jada and Will's controversial relationship was not hidden from their kids either. Willow and Jaden, who despite growing up in the glitzy world of privilege and opportunities, struggled with mental health issues at a very young age. Willow even talked about her mental health in an interview. She opened up about how hurtful and disorienting it is to grow up in fame. From such a young age, there is a huge... There's a huge trigger of feeling like I'm only valued when I'm entertaining or when I'm performing and I'm not valued as just me without, without putting on a show and trying to do the things, you know? It depicts how both parents pushed their kids to have a career in the industry without actually caring about what they wanted to do. The pressure of putting on a show all the time, paired with their parents' unconventional relationship and parenting style, took a huge toll on the kids. Will and Jada's relationship sums up the word toxic. They went as far as humiliating each other in front of their own daughter and saying that they didn't even want to marry each other. And I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. Yeah. I was so pissed. We, we... I went crying down the freaking aisle. I'll get married. Get married. Yeah. <laughs> Cried the whole way. <laughs> I really didn't want to get married, but... We only got married because... Gammy was crying. In fact, the couple was so unhinged that they would either traumatize their kids with inappropriate displays of affection or downright disrespect each other on air. Their daughter Willow admitted that the first time she was introduced to sex was when she walked in on her parent. Mm, my introduction to sex was obviously walking in on you and daddy. That was the first introduction. What the hell did what you walk in on us? As for their nepo baby Jaden, who starred in the blockbuster film The Pursuit of Happiness, he has been hated and mocked by the internet for the longest time. He's also crowned the king of I am 14 and it's deep. It all started from this particular interview. And I, I go around sometimes and I hang out with other people that are my age and they're just... I know, just get it in my phone, selfie. I'm just like, dude, like, oh my god, like, can we talk about, like, the political and economic state of the world right now? Yikes. We see why the internet was angry about it. However, this is not the only time Jaden has been at the receiving end of hate. His eccentric views on education and society have aggravated the audience a lot of times. For instance, tweets like, if everybody in the world dropped out of school, we would have a much more intelligent society. And school is the tool to brainwash the youth. He also compared schools to prisons and said that if people would leave school, there would be fewer prisoners in jail. There's too many correlations between public schools and prisons. The fact mm -hmm. that you have the long hallways, the fact that you have a fixed response to authority, the fact that, oh, there's a specific time when you can go outside and play, and then there's a specific time that you can come back in. And the way that you're notified with that happening is through the bells. People blamed Will Smith for this disastrous interview. According to Will's kids, having an emotional conversation with Will was the hardest thing ever. He would turn everything serious and would push his kids to be more intellectual. Whenever I talk to dad about it, it's always an intellectual debate. It's always like about like, okay, so speaking of the degradation of females in the past, you know, how do you believe that that trickles into your experience? You did it. And it's all, and it's, it's very, it's very serious, but it's not emotional. Yeah. Of it all. And I feel like the stuff of life is meant to be lived, not analyzed, mm. you know? But this wasn't even the worst thing. The biggest bomb was dropped on Will Smith when Jaden asked to be emancipated as soon as he turned 15. Although his mother Jada gave him permission to emancipate himself, Smith never filed for paperwork after realizing that life with his parents was great, privileged, and, uh, well, free. 
No, well, no, no emancipation for the Smith right, kids. Good. It seems like Will Smith and Jada Pinkett messed up big time with their son by making him follow the red carpet trail and starring him in blockbuster movies like The Karate Kid alongside famous actor Jackie Chan. 2. Jackie Chan It's fair to say Jackie Chan is the most popular and respected movie star in the world after he kickstarted his career at 5 years old in the 1960s. But did you know that Chan cheated on his wife in the 90s with a beauty queen Elaine Ng. Moreover, he had a daughter through that affair whom he had never even met. How? Jackie Chan, who is known for being the nicest person ever, could abandon his daughter like this? This question sparked a heated controversy not long ago, when a post went viral on social media. The post included a clip of a scene from Jackie Chan's latest movie, Ride On. In the scene, Jackie is playing a former stuntman who is watching a montage of his career with his daughter played by Liu Haokun. In the clip, we could see Chan's character hugging her daughter and sharing an emotional moment. It's a very beautiful scene that initially received a lot of appreciation from the audience. However, the tide of the comments took a very different direction when the clip emerged online without context of the movie. People assumed that it was Chan with her real daughter. A user posted the video on Twitter saying, Jackie Chan and his daughter crying while watching some of his old movie scenes is the most wholesome thing you'll watch today. Thanks for our childhood legend. However, another user took it upon himself to clarify the misunderstanding. He wrote, What's crazy about this clip is that this isn't Jackie Chan's daughter. She's a hired actress. Jackie Chan disowned his real daughter, Etta Ng, in 2017 for being a lesbian. But this was not entirely correct. While it is true that Jackie is estranged from his daughter and that she came out as gay, what people don't know is that he disowned her well before she was even born. Jackie has been married to his wife, Joan Lynn, since 1982, but was caught in a scandal after having an affair with a girl who was 19 years his junior, Elaine Ng. He admitted his regret in a press conference and also confirmed that Elaine was pregnant with his child. He further apologized for his actions, saying, I'm not a saint. I've done something wrong. I've done something that many men in the world have done. Maybe it was a moment of playfulness. It has been more than 20 years since and Jackie is still estranged from his daughter. She also says she wants nothing to do with her famous father or his money. The feelings are similar on both ends with Jackie never even once trying to reach out to Etta despite her homelessness and difficult life. Etta recently came out as gay and married a 31-year-old woman, Andy Autumn. She even shared the happy news on her social media. However, next up, on our list is someone who still managed to mess up his kid even after paying thousands in child support. We're talking about rapper 50 Cent. A very public beef with his son Marquise Jackson and went as far as saying that he wouldn't have a bad day if his son was hit by a bus. This tweet was prompted by a picture of Marquise with Kyle McGriff, son of 50 Cent's long-term rival Supreme McGriff, who is currently in jail for shooting 50 Cent nine times. When he was asked why a gunman was hired to shoot him down, he said, Karma. Karma? Things Karma. Are, Explain to me done. again why this guy was hired to shoot you nine times. Well, you was paid because someone, you know, felt like that I, I would potentially do something to them if they kept going in the direction that they were going. And you are tough. His own son hanging with Kyle McGriff was an insult to him. However, he later took to Twitter to explain his feelings. He wrote, I have zero ill will towards anyone living on this earth. The people Shan Kui's son looks up to and associates with is a reflection of the negative energy he embraces towards me. I paid his mother $1,360,000 in support to afford him opportunities I never had. However, Marquise doesn't think that the amount he is paying for child support is enough. In a live session with the rapper Choke, Marquis said, $6,700 is not enough to support his lifestyle. He even jabbed at his father in an Instagram post last year. The sad image showed him sitting on the floor with a bunch of $100 bills laid out on the floor to spell entitled. He captioned the picture saying, Since y'all think $6,700 is so much money, someone tell my pops I'll pay him $6,700 for just 24 hours of his time so we can do everything I ever wanted to do with him as a kid. In response to Marquise's jab, 50 cent 
posted a video from the Stars series where his character kills his son. He said, no caption needed. However, this isn't the first or the last time they have exchanged harsh words in the public eye. In 2017, Marquise released his debut single titled, Different. In the video, he referenced his rocky relationship with his father by saying, lost my pop, he's still alive. 50 Cent also opened up about his relationship with the eldest son on many occasions. He even said, I, I didn't think success would cost me my first born. He believes that how his son feels about him is a reflection of what his mom feels about him, which could possibly be true given that when 50 Cent and his ex-wife got separated, it put Marquise in the middle of a lengthy court battle at the age of 11. The young kid, although receiving thousands in child support, didn't get to spend his childhood with his father. This turned him into an angry, entitled person who has no value for money in his eyes. But Marquise Jackson still doesn't top the list of entitled and mentally disturbed celebrities kids. Farah Fawcett and Ryan O'Neal, despite being popular actors, struggled to steer their son in the right direction all through his teen and adult life. Redmond was not only addicted to drugs and illicit substances, but he also struggled with bipolar disorder and schizophrenia. Ryan knew he was a terrible father way before he had Redmond. When he and Farah had Redmond in 1985, he already had three kids. Redmond's father was a self-proclaimed womanizer and admitted himself how he navigated fatherhood very poorly. Not only this, but he might just be the worst dad in Hollywood given that none of his children have anything nice to say about him. His son Griffin O'Neill told Larry King that he has all but disowned his father and also revealed that Farah once caught him cheating on her. Was he faithful to her in the marriage? Absolutely not. In, the, non well, in, the, in non the relationship? No. no he he was saw not. other women. Are you kidding? She walked in on him and he was, he was with some other woman. Do you know this for a fact or is it hearsay? No, sir, I know this for you, a fact. You know it for a fact. She told me. He forgot. He locked every lock in the house, except he forgot that she had a remote control for the garage. And up oh, there she is. Not only this, but Ryan also blamed his daughter Tatum for the death of his wife. And I just think that uh, if she had never met us, would she still be alive today? When Farah Fawcett died, the last promise Ryan made to her was that he would take care of their son Redmond. But he couldn't live up to that promise either, as the relationship between the two is so broken that Redmond refuses to see his father while he receives treatment for his mental health conditions. Redmond was arrested in 2018 for a fight with a handful of men. In 2016, he was found with heroin in his possession. Before that, he was even accused for robbing a convenience store. And before that, he was wanted for for a week-long crime spree. To top it all off, he has also been accused of attempted murder. After presenting at the court a few times, he was labeled mentally unfit to stand trial and was sent to a hospital for treatment. However, when did it get so bad? How did the famous movie star's kid slip onto the dark side and fall prey for a terrifying mental condition? According to his son Griffin, Ryan wasn't only unfaithful, but he was also a very violent man. He said, He was a narcissist or is a narcissist? Yes. Absolute complete narcissist in every way. He hinted that Farah and Ryan didn't have a very good relationship to begin with, and since Redmond was only a five-year-old child at that time, we can only imagine how this aggressive relationship would have affected a young kid's mind. 5. Lawrence Fishburne Montana Fishburne decided to follow in his father's footsteps by getting involved in the film industry. However, the young kid decided to take the pornographic route to kickstart her career. In 2010, Montana shocked the world by revealing her intention to propel her career in the adult modeling industry. She even defended her decision in many interviews and said that her biggest inspiration is none other than Kim Kardashian. She sped her modeling career when her sex tape got leaked. And just like it helped Kim, it might help her too. Montana, you've mentioned Kim as sort of a role model to you. You said, quote, I've watched how successful Kim Kardashian became, and I think a lot of it was due to the release of her sex tape. Obviously, Montana's bold decision didn't make his father very happy. It even led to the two having a very strained and ugly relationship. When an interviewer asked Fishburne about her daughter stepping into adult modeling, he was lost for words and opted to ignore the news altogether. I know recently your daughter was in the news. Is 
that difficult I sometimes? No, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't heard. Oh, so you kind of just a little bit more time. Got the blinders on with that one. I haven't heard. I try not to talk about my personal life. Lawrence was so concerned about her daughter's well-being that he crossed the line. He sent a private investigator after her to follow her around. In retaliation, Montana faked a suicide attempt. According to TMZ, she found out a PI was videotaping her and drank the bleach she put on a show. Ever since the fake suicide news, Montana has managed to stay out of the headlines. However, she was recently pulled over and charged with a DUI. At the end of the day, Today, it's hard to live a Hollywood lifestyle and it's been even more difficult to live in the shadow of a legend. Hey guys, quick heads up. I've noticed a lot of you enjoy my videos but haven't hit the subscribe button yet. So it would be awesome if you could hit the subscribe button. Now. Back to the video. 6. Mia Farrow and Woody Allen Mia Farrow had 14 children, 10 adopted, and 4 biological. Farrow and Allen, although never married, adopted two children, Dylan and Moses, both of whom had extremely troubled childhoods. Mia has recently been in the spotlight for the HBO limited series Allen vs. Farrow. There is everything wrong with this couple with their daughter Dylan exposing her father as a sexual predator in an open letter, and Moses explaining his traumatic childhood in a detailed blog post. The HBO series, on the other hand, addressed everything except the deaths of Mia's three children, Tam, who died at 17, Lark, who died at 35, and finally, Thaddeus, who died at 29. Moses, the actress's son, recently criticized her and her family in a long blog post. He said, so often did she repeat it that Satchel would announce to one of our nannies, my sister is my father. I had also learned repeatedly that to go against her wishes would bring horrible repercussions. I would keep my eyes on Woody until she returned, but secretly, I was torn. And this was just at the beginning of how messed up this family was. Woody Allen sexually assaulted her adoptive daughter Dylan Faro when she was only 7 years old. She wrote an open letter to Woody Allen in which she described the molestation in detail. She wrote, For as long as I could remember, my father had been doing things to me that I didn't like. I didn't like how often he would take me away from my mom, siblings, and friends to be alone with him. She also said, Woody Allen is a living testament to the way our society fails the survivors of sexual assault and abuse. As for the deaths of three children, there have been vicious accusations and an air of mystery around the subject. People believed there was something dark and shady about this family and their kids. Almost all of their children were mentally abused. To count these accusations, Mia took to social media to explain the details about her children's deaths. She explained her daughter Tam died at 17 from an accidental prescription overdose related to agonizing migraine green she suffered, while Lark died due to complications of HIV or AIDS. As for 29 years of Thaddeus, he took his own life after his relationship ended. On the other hand, Alan never addressed these deaths, but he did deny Dylan's accusations in an interview. It's clear that Woody and Farrow didn't mess up just one life, but many. People believe that there is more to the picture than what meets the eye. Was Alan responsible for these tragedies, or was Mia a neglectful mother who killed her own child? No one knows. 